Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. Happy New Year to everyone, assuming that it's New Year over there. If it's not, well, close the video and open it when it is, and then it will be relevant. Happy New Year to everybody. And what better way to start the New Year than with a little bit of reflection? New Year's resolutions are a very popular thing, most people don't stick to them, but the whole point is to reflect upon your behavior in the previous year and try and resolve to fix it somehow, and most of us don't stick to it, mostly because we're weak and flaccid. But that doesn't stop us from declaring from the rooftops that 2013, or whatever the hell year it happens to be, will be the year of, well, yeah. Which usually stops after January the 3rd, maybe even before that, but you know how it goes. So, with that in mind, a little bit of reflection, shall we, on the channel as I present to you the top five worst pieces of shit that I put on my channel in 2012. Because, good lord, there have been a lot of bad videos. It's so hard to determine which is the worst, because there's a lot of them I really, really don't like, but I think there are some that stand out as just being so abysmally awful that they should never be repeated in any possible respect. So, without further ado, let us begin the top five worst videos on my channel of 2012. Number five. The entire Shoot Mania tournament series. We can't just pick just one video here because they're all bloody awful. Terrible production values across the board, really bad artifacted footage, consistent frame dropping, awful audio, and quite frankly nothing but match after match after match of a game that most people didn't seem to actually care about in any way, shape, or form, and with bloody good reason. It's the only content they got for a week. I mean, come on, let's be honest here, some beta or indeed alpha shooter that's being put on in some kind of competitive tournament is hardly the most attractive content that could have been put on the channel for my wide audience. But no, it seemed like a perfectly good idea at the time, let's fill some time. Hey, I'm away from home for a few weeks, I'll just put this Shoot Mania stuff up. They'll totally accept that, right? Wrong. The amount of damage that did to the channel was un absolutely unprecedented, I believe. I don't think anything has hit the channel harder than having nothing but that for a week. Viewership dropped for months after that. It was bloody terrible. It should have never touched the channel in any way, shape, or form. But it did. And we ended up with a selection of really, really terrible footage. And it's actually kind of sad, really, because there were some really fun games going on. I felt the commentary was pretty good, and that those guys were putting on a great entertaining show, and they deserved some kind of publicity. They deserved a stage, but that was not the stage to give them. That was delivered in an awful way, and had no business being on my channel whatsoever, and that will never happen again. Number four. The entirety of the Terraria series. I have no idea why you still watch it. I really don't. I'm scratching my head. I go back to the series every now and again when me and Jesse can actually summon up the courage to do it. And we say, hey, what we're going to do this time? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to do something and achieve absolutely nothing because Lord knows that's actually what people want out of the series. That's the funny thing. Progress isn't even rewarded. Like, the episodes that actually got the most views were the ones where we got nothing done. Absolutely nothing. Incompetence is rewarded in spades. And it seems like it's this massive culture problem on YouTube. Skilled play is not actually rewarded with the advertising dollars. That's not how YouTube works anymore. Anymore. It hasn't worked like that for years, it would seem. Days of the COD montage and the popularity of the best are well past. It's now about who can do something the worst, and Terraria is a prime example of so many episodes of just that. And I suppose it's redeeming in the sense that you can look at it kind of as a talk show and say, yeah, well, you know, the banter between the two of you is very funny, and even if you believe that. I, the freaking series has spawned nothing but terrible forced memes. Anything we ever say is turned into a catchphrase. Some people make fan out of it, which is appreciated. Hey, someone put some effort into that. That's cool. I'm actually all right with that. What I'm not okay with is people spamming the phrases that are conjured with the actual show itself. It's meaningless bullshit. It's not funny. And yet, of course, it spawns God knows what, and unfortunately, we make the decision of running with it, and it just becomes something with a life of its own. It's really, really bad. The whole series is dreadful. It really is. It's the worst series that's ever been on the channel by a country mile, and yet the popularity continues. So what the hell am I supposed to do? Cancel it? That's a terrible idea. Everyone wants to watch it. They want to see the continuing adventures of Dumb and Dumber. I, you know, I guess that's what it really comes down to, isn't it? But... 
Honestly, I think if you want the kind of Total Biscuit Jesse Cox experience, as it were, then watching the podcast is a much better idea. I am coming to despise the Terraria series because it's junk. It really is horrible, horrible junk. And as a direct result, it gets number four on my list. Number three. The Dark Souls video. Good god, a video so terrible that I had to remove it and issue a video apology for how awful that video actually was. A video that should have been a celebration of consumer action, the notion that if enough PC gamers got together and made their voice heard in a reasonable and constructive way, then developers would listen and they'd bring these franchises to PC and we too would get to enjoy some of the great games that you will find on console. That's what it should have been. It should have also been a sound and analytical critique of the poor state of the PC port and a debate as to whether or not that was acceptable, bearing in mind the experience of the developer, the fact that we asked for it, and a wide variety of other factors. That's what it should have been. What it was, was a stumbling fucking mess. An appalling circular argument littered with pauses, terrible enunciation, really incredibly bad reasoning, and overall absolutely no consensus or conclusion whatsoever. Why? I have no idea. Was I just completely dumb that day? Had I been struck down by some kind of curse? I don't even know, but what I do know is that I produced an awful video that was clearly not deserving of being on the channel, and the fact that I had to apologize for it should be testament to how terrible it is, and quite frankly, if I am ever going to tackle that game again, and I am pretty gun-shy as a result of fucking it up so hard the first time, then I will take a great deal more time to make sure that it does not suck because I certainly didn't tackle that well, and I definitely did not create a video up to the standards this channel is used to, and up to the standards that people were expecting from someone that pushed the Dark Souls port so hard when it came down to the whole campaigning thing. It's just absurd that I screwed it up that badly, and looking back on it, I just can't fathom what the hell I was thinking. Number two. WTF is I want to be the guy, Guy Dan. Good God, why does this video still exist? It is awful in the worst possible way. The reason it's awful in the worst possible way is not because I play the game badly. I play a lot of games badly and actually it doesn't fucking matter. As long as I represent the game fairly and as long as I don't criticize the game on the basis of my incompetence as opposed to legitimate mechanical problems, everything is cool. Here's the thing, it's the internet, so people are going to criticize your gaming skill regardless of how good you are. You can be the best goddamn gamer in the world and you will still get hammered across the board by people on the internet. Why? Because it's an anonymous medium. You can say whatever the hell you want and there's basically no consequences for it, so of course you're going to be a knob sack. That's essentially what the internet was built around. However, it's not about that. It's not about being bad at the game. It's about presenting something in such a way that is deliberately disingenuous. And that's not what this channel is all about. It's not about presenting games in a deliberately disingenuous manner. But I Want to Be the Guy Gaidan was exactly that. It was designed to be a parody. A parody of all of these rage videos. A parody of pretty much all of the I Want to Be the Guy Gaidan terrible let's plays that had gone before. And what it ended up being was a self-indulgent piece of shit that cashed in on the fact that people really love rage videos. They absolutely adore them. It's extremely appealing to the 12-year-old demographic. The usual age demographic of my videos is 18 to 24 is the primary, 25 to 32 is the secondary, and behind that, 13 to 17. That video, oh, it was all about the 13 to 17 year olds. I can tell you that for a fact. They absolutely adored it. The numbers were up across the board. It was absolutely insane to see how many teenagers went to watch that video. And it was horrible pandering. It was supposed to be a parody. It was supposed to be satirical, but it wasn't well delivered. It very clearly was not obviously a satire or some kind of 
crazy commentary. It was me trying to be too smart and instead completely overestimating my intelligence and the ability to actually convey that message in a humorous way and indulging in just a little bit of money grubbing. And that's what that video was. It made a bunch of money from fake rage and quite frankly it was disgracefully awful. Remind me never ever to do that again. No one reasonable gets that ragey at video games. If you see anyone do that on YouTube, they are doing it because it's an act that you want to see. They are putting it on because you find it funny. And that's okay. That's all right, as long as you don't pretend it's anything but that. The whole notion of satirizing that, you're doing it in such an incompetent way as to actually fuck it up and have nobody get the message, is even worse than just being barefaced honest and saying, Hey guys, I'm doing this for the laughs. Ho ho ho. It's awful. Dreadful video. Number one. This video. Why the hell are you watching this? It's a top five worst videos on my channel from 2012. Have you got nothing better to do with your time? Hang on, I haven't got anything better to do with my time. Why the hell did I even make this to begin with? Of course this is the worst video on the channel. It's a compilation of the worst videos. When you take all of those together and put them in a giant pot, what do you get? Bullshit stew. You couldn't possibly find anything else. Anyway, the point of this video was to say, I'm sorry, I fuck up every now and again. I try to adhere to some form of standards. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't. I try to make intelligent content for you guys, and sometimes I fuck it up because I'm a dumbass. Sometimes I come up with the most ridiculous opinions that have no basis in reality. Sometimes I'm an extremist, sometimes I'm biased, and sometimes I simply indulge in shitty content because I know people will watch it and it pays the ad revenue, right? Yeah. And I want to try and not do that. I want to do the videos that I want to do in 2013. And that means more variety across the board. It means that I want to do things like the Dota 2 series. And some people might say, ah, oh, well, it's trash content. But if, if you have that opinion, fine. You know, I would suggest that you don't watch it. Those videos are actually really easy to make. And I'm just doing commentary while I'm playing the game anyway for fun. So if I put it up on the channel, you don't have to watch it. It's not going to interfere with anything anyway. I'm going to do WTF is Content patch is going to start again in the new year. I'm going to probably continue doing why do i own i think it's it's got some value it's cool to delve into those obscure titles every now and again and i want to do a few more of this is why we can't have nice things and i guess we'll finish off terraria and then maybe if starbound comes out this year we'll look into that but i'd like to thank you guys because you've been really awesome this year we've had some pretty shitty times honestly we've run through some nasty situations and most of them are pretty much my fault and you stuck around anyway which makes you really cool and essentially you've allowed me to live a year of absolutely fantastic times uh, i've been able to finally really put my nose to the grindstone and do what i want to do as my full-time job yeah make it into a business and essentially pursue my hobby as a full-time career and you guys made that possible so thank you very much i hope you guys have a fantastic new year Please be safe. For the love of God, if you're drinking, do not drive. And I'll be back with the regular stuff in 2013. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you next time.